there was a problem with Keith Curl at the club and he put him on guard and duty and he just rang me and said, would you do the game on the Saturday for me? But as soon as I got the job, could not buy a result. We didn't have the money. It, it was a really difficult situation. Because what happened was, which it leaves a, a bad taste in my mouth, was so I rang Big Ron up and I said to Ron, who should I bring in? So he threw a few names at me and one name that came was Peter Shercliffe. He was doing good things as, as Wolves as a coach. I met him. I liked what he had to say. And I felt that Pete Sh- Shirtcliffe was undermining me as the manager. I should have got rid of him. I remember the game that I decided to resign from. I hadn't made my mind up about what the team was going to be that day. I'd done my team talk before. Let Rico take over. Shirty take over now. So I thought about it when I was, get, when I was going there. I spoke to Peter in the car on the way to the game. So I'm at the ground early. Steve Parkins, the manager of Rochdale at the time. So I go in his office and I sit down and he didn't realise. The board behind him has got the team and the shape. And I'm like, what is going on here? Now, we played with four centre-back. We played with a flat-back four all season. I decided to change it to a three and we worked on that all week. He's got me down as playing. I hadn't even named the team yet. Shirty knew the team. The only person who knew the team mm. when I spoke to him was Pete Shirtcliffe. And he's got the team. If you go back to it, they've got it on video now. You see me. I pull all the players onto the pitch. And I asked him, I've just said, I, I said to him, I said, what have I done wrong to any of you? I've, I've, I've given you game time. I've given you opportunities. I've given you everything. I said, and I've just walked into the manager's office there and Richie Barker, who's uh, assistant manager to Paul Warren, is a stand-up bloke. I brought him into uh, the club uh, and he he done phenomenal for me. And he went to me, Gaffer, it's not one of us. He said, you know, obviously players speak to other players and and whatever during the week. But to a man, they all said to me, it's not one of us. So I didn't know. But all of a sudden now, I've gone into a game with three centre-backs. They've gone four on top at home, which they've never played before, I think we're 2-0 down inside 15 minutes. So I've got to make changes now that I didn't want to make because I didn't have the players on the pitch to make the subsequent changes to go to a flat back four. I've got the fans giving me dogs abuse, you know, you don't know what you're doing. And I've never had that. I've Everywhere I've gone and played, the supporters have always known I've given 100%. So here I'm at, at a club where I'm paying for overnight stays. I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and I'm getting dog's abuse from the supporters. Why do I need that? So I make a change. We get back into the game. And then unfortunately, my big centre-back, who was brilliant for me on the day, gets sent off. And we, we, we narrowly get beat on the day. But I was so disappointed with what happened. And maybe it was a knee-jerk reaction I just decided, to, without speaking to Keith or the board, I just told the press that that was my last game. I was going to resign. And I told the players that was it for me. I just felt really let down. I then, on the, I was driving home. Uh, Keith rang me. He said, uh, we're not accepting your resignation. I want to see you tomorrow morning. I said, no, Keith. I said, the fans are on your back. The attendances are down. You're a mate of mine. I think it's best for all parties that I, now Keith said, sleep on it, come and see me tomorrow, want to see all the, 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 the board want to see you, and we'll have a chat about it. Still to this day, Peter Shercliffe says that he called me. He never called me. He's never, I've never spoke to him since. He, he rang the chairman, who will uh, testify this, about 10 times that night. He didn't pick up the phone to him, and basically left messages to say, He wanted the job. So Keith and I met the next day. I met the board and I just said, listen, it's best for all parties that I I go. Because the tendencies were down and the fans had had turned against me. And that was as simple as it is. So Keith said to me, well, Peter Shirtcliffe's on. I said, well, he knows the players. He he probably doesn't know this to this day. Keith Gill got the Mansfield job off the back of me. And I got Peter Shirtcliffe the job there. So again, they were nowhere near getting relegated that season. They got relegated and I got the blame for it. And that's yeah. the way it goes in foot. It left a sour taste in my mouth. And if you like that clip, you can catch the full episode here and you can subscribe to the channel here.